rabbit skin glue gesso. We want the rabbit skin glue to be body temperature and we need the water to be body temperature. We have to mix the glue and the water separately and that's the important part is to create the slurry first and then add the glue. Both the water and the glue have to be body temperature. So the first thing we'll do is let's get the glue body temperature. It's going to be three to one to one on this recipe. The important part is the glue to gesso recipe. The water is not so important. So let's. Get the glue heated up to body temperature. Don't need to reheat the whole thing. Just reheat a portion of it. Okay, that should be plenty. <clears throat> so, let's just use the can for right now. We've got the water boiling. We're going to break this up a little bit more so it'll heat quicker. More surface area will heat quicker. This won't take long. As soon as it's melted, it should be about body temperature. Okay, we have got more than enough. And it's starting to melt immediately. There we go. Be very careful not to overheat it. You heat it, overheat it, and you weaken it. And that's what causes the cracking, or the crazing. Again, only filtered water. Okay, it's almost melted. It's almost to body temperature. Notice I take a drop and put it on my skin. I can feel the coolness of it. Okay, I'll take this and set this aside. And the water, we want to heat the water to body temperature. Still very cold, it's getting warmer. Almost to body temperature. It's what they call blood warm. There, oh, just a little bit cool. Blood warm. Okay, now, one part water, and we mix the gesso slurry. We allow it to slake. All slaking is, is allowing the water to penetrate into the gesso, calcium carbonate. Keep the dry cup separate from the wet cup, and it's slaking right now, okay? Just do a gentle stir, and it's like a putty. I can add a slight amount of water if I want. In fact, I want. I'm going to add just a third more. So it feels like the right can say, ah, yes. It's a little runnier than sour cream. It's more like stirred up sour cream. See, see the I'm going to test this again. Perfect temperature. Blood warm. Now we add the glue. The famous rabbit skin glue gesso. Now it should have the consistency of paint. You can store this in your refrigerator and then heat it up. Okay, rabbit skin glue gesso. Set all these things aside. Turn the hot plate off. Keep it going a little bit. And take one of our already um, sized canvases. for any nubbins. Okay, again starting in the center. Checking to make sure it's blood warm. We can use just a little bit of a stir. There, blood warm. Put a 
little bit of a brush bristle in there and a very strong surface. So we'll uh, mark that gesso and set that aside and allow this to dry. Now we're ready to apply our second coat of rabbit skin glue. And this is cooled off. And we gotta let that water come to boil. We're gonna heat this up a bit now. Make it blood warm. It's getting a little chilly. Make it warmer. That's yeah, almost there. Doesn't take too much. There. Body temperature. I want to make sure that it's all stirred from the bottom. Got all the gesso. The gesso will tend to want to settle. Sometimes you get a little hair stuck in the previous coat, you can get a palette knife, pull it out, the corners, even out the strokes. This is the uh, funnel coat of the rabbit skin glue gesso. We want to get the glue off the bottom. We want to heat it to body temperature. Okay, that's body temperature, blood warm, just a little under blood warm. It's blood warm. Okay. limited number of time you can work with this one. Basically you should put it on and just leave it. There's a hair. Yeah. Let's put it on and leave it. We're done. This will be a very nice bright white